It's the NFL on EA Sports. And this one features Trevor Lawrence. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Jags and the Jets coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in week one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great minds. Fresh off week one victories. Who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports? And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes, and make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. Going to the air right away, Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards right off the bat and a quick first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Well, this defense for the Jets, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Powers through. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And the Jets will take over first and ten. So here come the Jets for their initial possession of the game. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6'4". And he was certainly solid, maybe a little bit more last week in his NFL debut through a couple of touchdown passes and earned his first victory. Now, we all know it's not going to be easy from here, but at least now he's seeing what it takes to win at this level. And the ball is knocked out, and the Jags grab it, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Here's a run on first. 
first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. The Jets at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to take care of business in front of the home crowd last week. Yeah, it's always nice to get that opener at home, but now things get a little bit tougher. The good thing for them, though, is they take a little extra confidence with them when they head out on the road. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Josh Allen in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. A last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. His throw incomplete. When you talk about this Jets defense, it's quite a unit, number one in the NFL against the pass. Normally you want teams to gel late in the season, but this unit, they've been terrific right from the word go. Came in as the number one rated unit against the pass in the NFL for just one week. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, it's Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they get five there on third and two. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. Now Lawrence on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Here's second and ten. Lawrence going to throw again. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. Eight carries, 60 yards. Just an all right day from him last week. He really didn't break out for the huge yardage he had hoped going in. I talked with him before the game, though, and he knows this is a new, fresh opportunity. He's put last week behind him. And his focus, getting some extra yardage with every carry he receives this week. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. No score after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Here's the Jets punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 
Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. Now the Jags will have great field position to start this drive as they take over on the short side of the field. On first and 10, it's ETN. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second down, here's Lawrence. And it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. On third down, Lawrence. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Jets' offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. They run again with Hurst, and the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A nice throw right there. And, Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. His guy's getting the victory last week, and he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command, not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control of the offense as well. And you and I both know that's often uncommon for a rookie quarterback. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Second and 15. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. They'll look to throw. chance to scan the field there. It felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. 
So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. He'll drop to throw. That's complete right side to Lazard. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll drop to throw. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw again. But looking for Godwin again, and he's got him once more. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. They'll look to throw again. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he is caught. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Jets. Garrett Wilson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Jaguars ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now a second and ten. Now Lawrence. That's complete to try to see Tien out of the backfield. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. This time they stay on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we send you a couple hours. It's still anybody's game at seven to nothing. As both of these defenses have been out there trying to one up one another. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Now the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Now this offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also... They've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. 
They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 44-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Second and four. Throw right side, take it in by Godwin. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 29-yard line. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Open man here is Conklin. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Hall again. And he's going the wrong way again. He'll lose yardage here back to the five. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Third and goal they decided to throw for, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. Now the Jets will call on a field goal unit here. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. And they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. And a touchback here as Walker will sit on this one. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Open man, this is Brenton Strange, the tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to mid. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. 
Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. What a difference a week makes. Last week he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number, not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this works out well as it'll kick out of bounds at the 11-yard line. The Jets ready to get going again here on offense. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added on to their lead, but that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Second and five. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Jets on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and 15. They're going to look to throw. And the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. Well, two snaps ago, I don't think anyone thought a safety was on the table. Yet, it happened. They caught him a back-to-back -back play breaking through the line. No amount of evading was going to save him from a sack on either play. And on the last one, he ran too deep into the end zone to set up the safety. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Fielded just inside the 30. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. This is caught. It's Kirk. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A very solid gain of 27. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now give to ETN running right down to about the 37. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. Man open here is Jones. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 17-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Lawrence. And it's caught. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the run. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Bigsby diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says. But defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. 
And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now, this one setting up for a great finish, all tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. New York's offense back out there and set to go. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They'll start on the ground. Hall shoves him away. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On the handoff, it's Hurst. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now Hurst. It'll be a minimum pickup, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Back to throw. Conklin, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Jets strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. A drive there of just four plays, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars trailing 17-10. A minute 50 to play. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Back to throw. Lawrence throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Trying to squeeze it in there at this stage of the game. You got to take some chances. Nice job to knock it away, though. You're so right. Understanding where they are in the game, you've got to take that opportunity and maybe thread the needle. Unable to get it done there. Oh, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Lawrence. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? Here's Lawrence. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. On third down, here's ETN. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. He's going to launch it for Washington. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the Jets have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you can 
can see what they were trying to do, just send those guys out there to make a play, but that is a costly interception. Yeah, that's kind of like the backyard. Everybody go deep, and let's see if we can find someone. Four verticals in the route. Any other time in the game, I love the call, but here, you're not going to hold safety. You're not going to hold corners with any looks because they know what the situation is. Ends up throwing the interception. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. They run it with Hurst. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Here's the Jets punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And take it right on the 30. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And control of the football switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Now Lawrence. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Throwing now, Lawrence. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. So pass interference, the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. Where they came so close, Charles, they were knocking on the door in a one-possession game, but ultimately the defense held tough to get the victory. And doesn't it feel like it just leads them asking what could have been? So many moments when they could have had a big play to change the outcome.